Yeah, man, this is just an example, man. You know what I'm saying? Why you should never fuck with me and keep playing. This nigga was trolling, talking about, you don't know who I am. You don't know who, what type of weird ass nigga I'm about to show you. What type of stalker ass, obsessed ass, boosy, corny, J Cat shit like that. Did this nigga be doing out here, man? Gary Dixon, he called himself Little Trig. Yeah, man, you know, Trig put the nigga on. And you got to remember, Trig was from two different hoods before he came from Metal So you know this nigga late in the game. But yeah, this is a weird ass nigga nobody know. And we going to know him from this, though. So yeah, I already posted his other paperwork. You feel me? Told on Michelle and everything. Told on me. He be flagging me all day, every day. But he called himself <laughs> um, trolling me, you feel me? A troll is a motherfucker who hide their face. Nigga, don't call me a troll. Ever in your, I stand on what I say. I look a nigga dead in the face. Just like I punched you in the face and knocked you on the ground and you begged me not to stomp you out. See, that's why you stomp niggas out these days. Because you dead come back and try to really attack your ass from different ways and stuff. Hiding hella far away. This is a shame, bro. This nigga really act like he was out here, but he wasn't out here. From all the way in Georgia at his mama's house, she dying, he supposed to be taking care of her. He over here stalking us, bothering us from some shit 20 years ago that he ain't resolved and mad about. Nobody cares about you, the bitch left you, but here we go. You stalked Michelle, got her kid's name tattooed on you, that's SGA and Jaleese. This is where they got that old harassment, worried about other motherfucking shit from. This they dad, they claim them, but they don't claim him, you feel me? That he was, you know, that he was married to their mom and then the bitch left for somebody else and he does the same thing to every woman harass and stalk them here's more proof he thought i wasn't gonna get this case and this is the bigger thing when we got this case everybody said the most peculiar thing about this case if you look at the charges how did he get away from this one this dude should be in jail for harassing motherfuckers already because this is all he do now let's get into it though shout out get holla at the victims keona stanley uh don tillman uh, Osborne Reed, man, you know, it's other witnesses we want to get at and see, get the, get the, get the, get the story about this. See, one thing about me was, is when I was in jail, you feel me, when Art passed away, you feel me, and look, people always fuck with me. I know I'm hella smart, so I be doing people casework, you know what I'm saying? That's how I know LL from the stars. I got him off his case. I was doing his paperwork and shit and sending it back to the judge, getting his shit rearranged in time and shit to get out on these streets, you feel me? I know. I really know. I be really doing niggas paperwork in there, so I'm gonna always be useful. So, bam, I get the paperwork on this nigga where he telling. He's telling, and this nigga, here's the problem. Nigga, this the cold part about it, man. You feel me? Nard told me what everything that happened and then i looked at the paperwork but here's just a summary of what the police report said and you can look at the charges basically shooting it in a habit dwelling uh um uh convicted felon with a pistol all of these things would back in those days would lock you up for 10 to 15 years again by themselves. This one gets brushed under the rug. We know why, bro. It's questionable. You see what I'm saying? But now let's get to this. An argument ensued in two different locations. So that means you did the same bitch shit you did the other day, trolling us and shit, harassing real niggas and shit, talking about I'm out here, I'm coming to get you. Yeah, that's what you do, bro. And somewhere in your life, you harass some poor sucker and it worked. And you thought you could do that to everyone. That's why, bro, studying you from psychology, because I majored in psychology in college, bro, you a dumb motherfucker. I can tell that you have a real problem. You have a, you're a real, you're the reason why they call us animals and want to lock us in jails. You have a condition that you can't help yourself with. You are an evil motherfucker who worry about everybody else. And you don't, that's, it's a condition. You probably on some mental health medication that they had you on because you did so many years. That's how y'all get out y'all cell and. So the argument, the factual circumstances surrounding the crime of Gary Dixon, you feel me, Little Trig, he called himself M. Gotti from 6900 block, one of the, he want to be a gang leader and shit. An argument ensued in two different locations. So you basically made some threats to the bitch. Nor told me what happened. We had the paperwork. Basically, you was calling the bitch, harassing her. Nigga, Nor said you was stinking and sweating and smelling like shit. You didn't have no car. You was on a bus stop. So you begged him and told him to give you a ride to your girl house. Unbeknownst to him, this ain't your girl. She don't want to fuck with you. You can't come to her house. It's no good. You feel me? She got another nigga in there. You can see he in the paperwork. You got mad and said and tricked uh, the homie in the 
giving you a ride over there. He gives you a ride over there, and bam, you then told the bitch, yeah, I'm going to come over there, bitch, and I'm killing everybody, bitch. Everybody going to die, bitch, bitch. You can't love you, you don't love me. Fuck you, bitch. Uh, nigga, you feel me? Acting hella crazy, belligerent, out your mind, using art as a fucking reason to, to dis, disarm the homie to have him give you a ride somewhere. Make a long story short, he drop you off at the bitch house. Nigga, you go banging on the door. But you got to trip off the paperwork in this shit. You feel me? That I read myself. The paperwork said she had told her dad, who also lived in the same apartments, he came and got the baby and walked across the street. But that was his daughter, so he witnessed the whole thing. Witnessed you pull up to the house, bang on the door and do all the little shit and then shoot up her house like you told her to do nigga let's keep it real you shot up the house because the bitch had another man that's what type of nigga you always been harassing and doing this shit to a bitch so now we got a history of your ass doing these type of things in life you feel me you a motherfucking weirdo man listen we already figured out how you even came around you was one of them niggas that started buying weed from art that never left you know them niggas that come buy weed from you and be like can I smoke it with you and hang around next thing you know this nigga's a tag along any nigga with trap houses you know we gotta deal with these niggas like this and if you don't this what happened ever since he came around this nigga caused trouble so now he pulling now we pulling out all the trouble he caused mind you this is all going on why this nigga coming around the stove this nigga do fuck shit yeah gary dixon yeah we pulling out paperwork on you you thought we didn't know about that's why i keep telling you niggas when these niggas holler that gangster shit pull their paperwork up make them niggas come with their caseload nigga so you can see what type of nigga you really dealing with because they gonna lie to you and act like they somebody they not man they come on bro <laughs> Come on, you're a stalker. Come on, let's 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 Kiana Stanley and them. They didn't want to fuck with you, man. This was after Michelle left your ass, you feel me? And you trying to force bitches and bully bitches to fuck with you and shit. She had another man in there. You go shoot up the house, shoot through the open door, nigga. You feel me? Come on now. You a clown, nigga. You, that you do weird shit, and then the homie went down because you ran from the police and told the police, "Oh, you got me. You got me. The gun is over there. It's me." You and and, and 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 the homie don't no, gave me a ride, so they go get him. Bam! Oh, this nigga told. That's the whole point of this. We been do you was telling nigga. You put a nigga in it who you shouldn't even put in it. And that nigga went to jail and shit. Went when this nigga come into your life, nigga. He always dragging niggas into some bullshit. That's that negative energy. That nigga got that that demon in him, nigga. And where we come from, we didn't come from that shit, nigga. That's a crackhead baby out there, nigga. Mad that he wasn't properly cared for, nigga. Like we was, nigga. This nigga out here. These niggas come home from jail hunting everybody else nigga get on some pussy you on dick nigga that's what you see when you see that homosexual mentality that's why these bitches leave them get away from them y'all might as well go be with the men you always worried about then nigga that's why them killer herb niggas these trigs these motherfucking Baby drug niggas, they never win, nigga. They be mad at everybody else because it's you. Because, nigga, man, out of all the years you did, you shouldn't even be worried about no no, no gang banging shit. You worried about some shit. These niggas don't even know who you is. I, that's what be fucked up. You be like, yeah, that nigga Gary, that nigga Trey. You be, they be like, who the fuck? But th this the only way we know you now. From the, all the fuck shit you did since you wanted to get online and act like you was a troll and knew everybody's business. You don't know who I am. You don't know.